Okay. So next, talk about how you talk about how you got involved with the writing country music and singing at, at the bars in your local town. How that come oh, about? Gosh. <laughs> um, that's an interesting story. So I I met this guy named Andre um, many years ago. It was summer of 2015. So this is how many years ago was that? Seven years ago from now. Um, and we were neighbors at that point. I was a rising junior at Vanderbilt and he was a rising senior at Belmont. Um, and we met uh, that summer at this pool party that the apartment was hosting. And that, I was like, started talking to him and uh, he had a pretty cool story. He's Asian American too. He's from Hong Kong, adopted. I grew up in Boston uh, and uh, well, immigrated from Hong Kong to Boston and then grew up in Boston. And he went to Ber Berkeley College of Music, uh, studying under John Mayer, uh, and then came down to Nashville to songwrite when he was 18. So he started writing with uh, some of the now big name artists, but back then, like no one really knew them, like uh, Brett Eldridge, John Party, um, and, and a few others. And uh, so he started writing country music for them. And, and so, so we, we got acquainted and he said he wanted to be like the first Asian American uh, recording artist. Uh, and I, I thought that was really interesting. I, I wasn't really into country music at that time. Uh, all the way back in 2015 I was like oh that's really cool we should stay in touch you know so we I added him on Facebook started following his Facebook page and, and stuff like that love to support another Asian brother right like in, in whatever endeavor that that he's, he's doing I was like hey uh, we'd love to keep up with you we'd love to follow what you're doing um so we actually didn't talk to each other for about four years now fast forward to the end of 2018 um one of my best friends got me into songwriting and uh, cause I used to, I used to be uh, very active in, in leading worship on Vanderbilt's campus uh, in a college ministry. So I didn't really have kind of a musical, I guess, outlet like right out of college. Uh, now, now I do have a tons of musical outlets. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm leading worship at my church with my wife. I'm writing music and recording music with, with Andre now, and that's a story I'll tell later. But my, my buddy Clay got me into songwriting back in the end of 2018. Um, and I and that was also the year that I got into listening to country music as well. Um, so I fell in love with country music and songwriting. And uh, towards the beginning of 2019, I reached back out to Andre and was like, hey, I'm not sure if you remember me, but we met like four years ago. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to update you that I'm, in the country music scene i'm writing music and i, I didn't expect anything of it i was like I, i'm just i'm just you know in love with country music and i'm also writing music so i just thought of i just thought of you uh just wanted to reach out right and he actually messaged me back on facebook he's like yeah man i, I do remember you let's let's meet up sometime for coffee so we caught up all the way back and um it was a uh, i think april may of 2019 i want to say uh and at the end of our our hangout he was like hey why don't we do why don't we do a write together? Um, and that was the beginning of, uh, I think our our friendship and and because we we only got acquainted that one time, and we sort of loosely stayed in touch on Facebook. Didn't really talk to each other for four years, <laughs> and we caught we caught back up in 2019 um, and started writing music music together. So fast forward to now, you know we've written probably over 40 songs together. Uh, when I recently got married, he was, he was a groomsman in my wedding. So he's, he's become one of my best friends and, um, I'm just here to sort of support him in his career. I don't really write music with other people, really. I just write music with, with him. And, um, you know, we, we've played together a few times around town with shows and stuff like that. So that's sort of the story of how, how I got to, uh, just, just so happened to stumble into the country music scene here in Nashville, but <laughs> so so what's your process for writing a country music song? Is it is it is, is, is you write a song is the same whether it's country rap, R and B, classical? Is the writing process the same or? Well, I haven't written in I haven't written other genres, but I would say it's different uh, because with country music, there's certain elements in it that do not exist outside of country music. Or, or folk music, right? So, so there's certain 
ways you write the lyrics that are more descriptive and uh we i we, mean, I we, mean we have your, a, your, your wife has uh, to leave you the horse has to die <laughs> right right exactly we, we call it we call it putting furniture in the lyrics right you you want to write uh, a, 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 it's, it's like storytelling that's why i love that's why i fell in love with country songwriting because i love telling stories and this is a way for me to express that storytelling through through music um so you're sort of writing more of a story you're depicting uh, the lyrics in a more concrete way rather than uh, in pop music or um, I don't know in alternative music it's, it's a little bit more abstract the lyrics are a little bit more abstract and when you hear someone like I don't know Imagine Dragons or Billie Eilish or something like someone like those type of artists and you hear the lyrics it's not necessarily something you can fully grasp or understand when you when you hear it but when you hear country music you can actually follow the plot line from verse to chorus to verse again to the bridge into the chorus, right? It's sort of depicting a, a whole story. So yeah, there is a process to writing uh, country music. And I think there's probably a different process for writing R&B or rap or pop or any other genres. So so when you do your writing, like you like sit down at one take, like an hour, write a song in one hour, you like write a line, take a break, oh, write gosh. a verse another later, how does that work? It, it typically takes, three to four hours, uh, maybe longer. Um, you know, if we can finish a write within one session, which is, we, we typically take about three hours to do a, a write session. And not all of the times we finish the song. So maybe we got one verse down in the chorus and then we come back the following week and we, and we meet up and we write the second verse in bridge or something like that. Or sometimes we're just on a roll and we get the whole song done in three hours, which I think is, that's a really good timing to steam out a whole song pretty much within three hours. Um, but, you know, you feel differently on different days. It's kind of like weightlifting or running or any type of sports. It's like you, you feel differently on different days depending on how your body is functioning or feeling that day, right? So some days we get on a roll and we're hammering out an entire song that's very catchy within two to three hours. Uh, but other days we're sitting for three hours and <laughs> we've come up with, you know, a few lines and that's, and that totally depends on the topic. That totally depends on how we feel about the song. It depends on how passionate we are about the story and, and, and stuff like that. Cause some topics are just easier to write than other, another topic. So when, when you're writing a song, do you already have the music for the song or does the so music come after you wrote the song? How's that work? You mean the melody of the song? Yeah, yeah. no, or, the music, uh, like the, the actual music. Yeah, um, that's a good question. I'd say for us, you know, we've written so many songs together that it's, we got a set process. So it's typically we meet and he's the idea guy. I'm like, all right, Andre, like what, what type of, what idea do you got for us today? So he brings that, that idea to the table, that prompt, if you were writing an essay or a book or something, it would be sort of the same as a prompt. Um, and, um, you know, I'll, I'll give you an example. So one of our, one of our songs is called, um, Irish Goodbye, right? And it's all about, uh, the story that we're trying to craft is all about, uh, a, a girl that is dating you and she completely ghosts you out of the blue, right? And, and she, the Irish Goodbye prompt is because someone leaves a party without saying goodbye to the people. So at, that's at the party, right? So that's sort of the prompt and we sort of kind of base our song off of that uh, that topic. So from there, then we construct the, the verses and, and the choruses. Uh, but typically we try to figure out like some sort of a basic tune, basic melody, basic chord progression. Um, and uh, And then we keep on building on top of that. So sometimes it could be the melody of a chorus Sometimes it could be the melody of a, of a post-chorus and we build on that foundation and we keep expanding that into the rest of the song. 